everyone. So like Eliza said, I'll be talking about why the future of the world is in AI and cloud computing, and also why it's the ultimate benefactory of our society. So what exactly is AI? Well, AI refers to the recreation of human behavior, but in machines. And so some common examples of this are facial recognition, which grants machines the ability to identify human faces and other objects in picture and video. Another example is NLP, or natural language processing. And this is the stuff that's in personal assistants like Alexa, Google Home, or Siri. And so if you've ever used any of these applications, you've already been in contact with an artificially intelligent being. And so artificial intelligence is often accompanied by cloud computing. And cloud computing provides developers with storage, servers, applications, or programs on an on-demand basis via the internet. And they get these resources kind of similar to how we get our electricity or our water. So we don't build massive power structures in our backyards. No, there's a centralized power grid, and we use whatever electricity we need in an on-demand basis. And similarly, developers use whatever resources they need on a pay-as-you-go, on-demand basis. So I think it's very, under, it's very important that we understand that while AI and cloud computing are often associated with things like Bitcoin or super smart, kind of creepy looking robots, it's really so much more. And it's actually a symbol of hope. And it does this by revolutionizing business and humanitarian efforts, which are two of the most significant aspects of our society. So we all depend on businesses, both big and small, for the products that we consume and jobs so that we can earn money, make a living, and ultimately survive. And humanitarian efforts are equally important because they allow, they allow us to give back to those that are not as fortunate as us and also allow us to uh, improve our society as a whole. So how exactly does AI impact business? Well, have any of you ever had an idea but shut that down because it was impractical, it was too costly, or it was too time consuming? Well, AI and cloud computing are actually solutions to all of these problems. Take Airbnb, for example. Airbnb is one of the world's largest hoteling services, but they don't own a single piece of property. And they do this by creating an application which uses cloud computing to link their customers with hosts that have space to share. And so this idea was actually started by two guys in an apartment that just wanted some extra cash. But now it's a multi-billion dollar company, and it can, can, it can compete with some of the largest hoteling services in the world. Another example is Snapchat. So Snapchat is also one of the world's, one of the world's largest uh, social media applications, and it's able to compete with huge companies like Facebook that own or that have spent millions and millions of dollars and uh, years and years of time to build their own data centers. However, Snapchat doesn't actually own any of its own data centers. It actually gets all of its data and all of its storage from the cloud, and it's able to compete on such a high level. Sorry. And it's not just these corporations that benefit from these technologies. Take me for an example. I've always been really into AI, and whenever a new company like, or whenever a large comp company like Google or Apple unveil their new tech demos and show off their AI, I always think to myself, wouldn't it be really cool if I could do something like that? But I always shut that thought down because there's no way that I have the knowledge to do something like that. There's no way that I have the necessary resources. And I kept on thinking that way until about a year ago when I became heavily acquainted with artificial intelligence and cloud computing. So there's actually a product on the market which big companies that develop artificial intelligence can sell their uh, algorithms for small amounts of money through the cloud. And this allows everybody to pursue their dreams and use artificial intelligence. So I used one of these algorithms and I specified it for facial recognition. And I was able to create a facial recognition powered security camera. And all of a sudden I had a product. And with the product, I had a business. And hopefully this business can continue to impact the security of people all around the world. Artificial intelligence and cloud computing are also monumental in our humanitarian efforts. Take world hunger for an example. It's one of the world's largest issues, and I was first situated with this issue uh, during my family and I's trips to India. So in some places, I see that there are people who can't get the three meals, of the, who can't get the three meals a day that we so take for granted. 
And this is the case everywhere in almost every single country, including the US. And so inspired by this, my friends and I, or a few of my friends and I, created a blog style website that could connect homeless shelters with food suppliers. And so whenever these food suppliers had surplus food, instead of throwing it away, they could donate it to these homeless shelters. And we were able to do this with little to no cost because of cloud computing. And because of cloud computing, we were able to impact our society in a way that we never thought we could have. And these technologies can actually also help reduce food wastage. And so one example is how it improves the crop yieldage of farmers. So if farmers were to use uh, sensors that are powered by artificial intelligence, they can actually identify where in their crops needs the most work, and they can maximize their crop yieldage and thereby reduce food wastage. And it's not just world hunger that benefits from these technologies. There's also natural disaster reaction. So in the event of a natural disaster, drones with cameras powered by facial recognition can fly over disaster areas. And they can actually identify people that need help. And they can alert the first responders. And this allows them to maximize their time and save the most amount of people. Another example is human trafficking. Now, this is a very serious and it's a very scary issue. However, recently, the number of cases of human trafficking have gone down because artificial intelligence has actually predicted possible areas of human trafficking. And it's alerted law enforcement, and it's helped them crack down on the number of cases. So now what? So artificial intelligence and cloud computing don't only impact uh, business and humanitarian efforts. It actually touches nearly every aspect of our lives. And so now that we know that, we should stop thinking about this as something that's science fiction or something that's going to become smarter than humanity and enslave us all. But actually, there's something that's saving lives and that its potential holds the future for a better world for us and everybody. Thank you.